Hey YouTube, it's Rachie. I'm here with my two month colour update. So I got my hair coloured on April 11th. Today is June 18th, so it's been over two months. Um, I got my hair dyed at the Aveda Salon in Covent Garden. For those who do not know, I'll put the link below of the video of where I got my hair done and you can see the results. Mm. And it is still intact. It is a brown. As you can see, I have roots. I have dark roots. My hair has started to grow out. Um, which is a good thing because it's a sign that my hair is growing and you know, it's a good way of keeping track if your hair's growing or not. So I've got about an inch of um, roots, which I'm not really bothered with. To me, like, I don't really feel like I need to color them or, you know, blend them in with the color. I'm kind of happy with them. And eventually my hair will just get, you know, colored out and then be cool. So I'm not really gonna, I'm not gonna dye my hair again, put it that way. I'm gonna keep my hair how it is, but I just want to show you. You can see, um, yeah, I've got about an inch, which is good because your hair grows about half an inch a month, and it's been two months, so my hair was growing very well. Um, at the back, it's like more. <laughs> I can't tilt my head forward, but yeah, some areas it's more, some areas it's less, but that's expected. Anyway. So I just wanted to show you the products I've been using on my hair, um, kind of, you know, give you an update of how my hair's been behaving over the past two months, and um, show you, yeah, the products I've been using. So, I have not experienced any dryness or any breakage. Some people say when they colour their hair, their hair gets slightly drier or um, it starts to break off. I haven't experienced any of that. My hair and curl pattern has not changed. My hair has remain the same it hasn't got like my curl pattern hasn't got any looser um at the moment as you can see it's just a bit looser because of the style i had it in but it's yeah. my, my hair's been pretty fine it hasn't it hasn't had any damage like i haven't experienced any damage um i've been giving my hair regular trims like i've had one trim since i've dyed it which i did myself and it's still growing it's still healthy so, um, yeah, I haven't experienced any breakage or any damage. Um, yeah, <laughs> hasn't changed. So, products I've been using. So, shampoos. This is the Herbal Essence Ignite My Colour Vibrant Colour Shampoo. As you can see, it's nearly finished. It's probably three quarters done. Um, I've used this probably every two weeks because the... Co well, the conditioner that goes with it and the leave-in conditioner I'm using has silicones and um, other things in it which I want to get out of my hair and don't want to build up on my hair so I've been using this which is, is a sulfate um, shampoo it is drying <laughs> and it does leave my hair fully stripped which that's why I don't really use every week and um, it doesn't lather up that well to be quite honest and yeah, it's not really the best of shampoos, but I I tried it because it's a colour shampoo and um, once it's finished, I won't be buying this again, the shampoo. And I bought the matching conditioner, which is this. Um, I haven't really used this. I've used this probably twice, just because it doesn't really do anything for my hair. It doesn't leave my hair feeling moisturised. It doesn't feel conditioned. It just, I don't know what it does, but it doesn't really do anything. So I haven't really used it that much. Um, it does have alcohol in it and dimethicone and yeah, all these different things in it. Um, yeah, it's not the best <laughs> of conditions out there, but as I said, I don't really use it. Um, I kind of use my chest main naturals regardless now. That's like my staple conditioner. So I don't really use this that much. Another shampoo that I got was the Swarovski professional um, Bonacure hair therapy color free sulfate free shampoo this is really good I really like this um, even though it's sulfate free it does lather off my hair really well my hair does feel really clean it doesn't feel stripped or dry um, I do not feel like I have to shampoo twice with this whereas the um, herbal essence I feel like I have to shampoo twice with this this I have to shampoo once and my hair feels really clean and just doesn't feel like I have to go over it again and um, 
this is quite expensive it's seven pound 49 that i got it from pax and yeah i like this product i might actually go and get the shampoo the color shampoo they had which is sulfate to replace it with that one um to see if it's any better because i think it's just a better quality brand than that one so i may do that but yeah i like the kind of damage rescue treatment mask I've used this twice. I haven't really needed to use it um, because I have other masks that I use to deep condition with and I don't really feel like I need to add another mask in my routine. As you can see, it's not really been used. Um, when I did use it, it did feel okay, but it didn't feel like, oh my gosh, I've got added moisture in my hair and it feels amazing. It didn't really give me that. So um, I may use it once in a while but because I bought it, but... <laughs> I don't need it so yeah that's the Pantene mask and then in terms of like treatments and leave-in conditioners I've been using the Aveda strengthening treatment color conserve this is the salon that I got my head on it um, and their color conserve daily color protect this is a leave-in and this is a strengthening treatment with this one, um, I use it after shampoo and I put it in my hair for about five minutes and then I rinse it out. I think this is what they used in my hair when my hair was being done at the salon because it smells the same as what she used. But um, it leaves my hair feeling really soft and it does make my hair feel slightly stronger. I know it sounds weird, but my hair feels slightly stronger as if I've just hennaed because that's the kind of effect that henna used to give me. So um, I do like this. It does have a whole load of stuff in it like that's all the ingredients it has so many different things in it um that's why i use the sulfate shampoo but um it does what i need it to do in terms of strengthening because that's what it does and yeah i like this and then to match it up is the daily color protect now i do not use this every day because i do use my giovanni direct leave-in as my main leave-in um but this is really good for what it does um, if my hair's feeling a bit dry or a bit stripped or a bit, you know, not moisturised, I can just put a bit of this in, um, put it across my hair and it feels so much better. So, um, yeah, I do like this. It does have a lot of ingredients in it again, but, um, I'll be doing a full review on these products later on. It's just to give you an idea of what I've been using. And that's it really. They're all the products I've been using on my hair or for like coloured hair. I was sent this by um, Root Stimulator, Organic Root Stimulator, which is their organic, I'm oh, sorry, olive oil hair mask, intense repair, or tense, intense treatment for heat and colour damaged hair. Um, I may try this, I may not, who knows, um, probably this will be just be used once, but I may try it and see what it does and then if it's really good or not I can buy the full size, but um, yeah I received this so. I might as well give it a try. Um, and like I said, I haven't experienced any damage in my hair or any dryness. Um, I think because I've just been moisturising my hair how I usually would and kind of doing it a little bit more just because of the colour so that it prevents any breakage or damage. Like this is day six hair and my hair is still moisturised. Like my hair does not feel dry. Um, it's not even frizzy. Like my hair is usually frizzed by now. But my hair is just, I've had, I had it, had it in a braid out probably two days ago. And I just kind of let it free and just let it be. Okay. <laughs> I've done one trim since colouring my hair, which was probably a month ago. Um, my ends are not really in need of another one anytime soon. My ends feel quite um, moisturised and they're not really frayed or dry or rough they feel fine um i may do a blowout in probably a month or something and if i do a blowout and my hair looks a bit rough then i'll do a bit of a, a dusting but um my hair feels fine like yeah it just feels good like it doesn't feel in any way damaged i was kind of scared that my hair was going to start breaking off because i've heard so many horror stories about people when they color their hair so um, I was a bit scared that, you know, once my colour's in and it's been there for a while, I'll start seeing it to drop out and break off. But um, it hasn't. So I think I've done pretty well. Um, 
if you have any questions in regards to coloured hair or you know any tips or anything feel free to ask me I'll just give you advice as to what I did and the websites I looked at to get um kind of tips and stuff I did do a lot of research before I dyed my hair I did not use box colour I went to the salon and did it because I was kind of scared the box colour would mess up my hair so I went to a professional some people choose to use box colour I chose to go to professional just because I was a bit scared so um, and I had never coloured my hair so yeah that's what I chose to do <laughs> so until next time peace bye